if you've got Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is a thyroid autoimmune disease, and you are working on reversing it, here is your nutritionist guide with strategies to help you send it into remission and restore your body in a holistic and natural way. Let's get started. Hey, hey, Yulia Tabith here, and together with my husband, Paul Tabith, we are here to help you create healthy hormones, healthy body, and the life of your dreams naturally. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with our latest video. Now, just like my husband, Paul, I am a certified holistic nutritionist with over 10 years of experience. And not only that, I have sent my own Hashimoto's autoimmune disease into remission. So I totally get how you feel. I understand that you're probably experiencing a lot of frustration, you feel fatigued, you are not sure which diet you should be following because you're constantly hearing conflicting advice, you are not getting much help from your doctors and you just constantly get sent home with an answer that everything looks fine, your lab tests look fine, there is no fatigue and fatigue is in your head, it's all in your head and you're just not getting the right answers. At the same time, you're having all these crazy symptoms, your hair is falling out, your libido is low, you cannot exercise, your body is aching and you are looking for a way to get out of it and to create the level of health that perhaps you used to have or the level of health that you've never had before and you want to build your body in a brand new way because something inside of you tells you that it is possible. Well, if something inside of you tells you that it is possible, I really want you to listen to that voice. And that's what I did when I struggled with my Hashimoto's. That's exactly what I did when I was told that Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease, it's there for life, there's nothing you can do about it, yet I took action and I committed and I dedicated myself to restoring my body in a holistic and natural way and the result is sending it into remission and keeping it flare up free for years on end. Now I have a question for you. How long have you been diagnosed with Hashimoto's autoimmune disease for? Let me know in the comments section below. So as I said, there is a way for you to rebuild the health of your thyroid gland. There is a way for you to rebuild your hormones. There is a way for you to lose that excess weight that you are struggling with uh, releasing. There is a way for you to rebuild your life in a completely new way and it will all come down to the right plan. So let's dive straight into it. Now, one of the first things that we work with our clients, and we've helped many of our clients reverse Hashimoto's and rebalance their thyroid and hormonal imbalances, is understanding what is their root cause. And in the majority of cases, one of the main root causes is going to be their diet. Now, you see, if you've got Hashimoto's thyroiditis, that means that your body is reacting to something. So something that is going on in your body, whether it's nutrition related or certain deficiencies or whether it's other issues that we will talk about in this video, so stay tuned. It's all about understanding those things and addressing those things. So let's talk about the nutritional side of things. Now, a lot of people, when they come across and when they search for autoimmune diets, they will come across autoimmune paleo diet, for example that restricts their carbohydrates. And although there are certain good parts to it because it does move you from processed foods and to a much whole food plan, it includes animal products. And animal products are a problem for people with autoimmune diseases. Your autoimmune condition will restore much better, much faster if you exclude the animal products. And if you're wondering if there's you know, any science behind it, why are you just saying that? I understand that you're nutritionist, but is there any science? Yes, there is. And I'm going to drop it in the description section if you want to explore it. Yes, it has been proven that animal products make autoimmune diseases worse. So you want to move to a whole foods, plant foods diet. And when you start to exclude animal products, which have a lot of calories and a lot of fat, when you switch to plant foods, then it's about building that lifestyle the right way. So you're not under eating, you are not feeling weaker, you are not under eating on essential nutrients in your diet to make sure that you are rebuilding your body and you are able to start feeling better. So the first and very important step for you is to switch to a whole food, plant foods lifestyle, to switch to a large amount, start eating large amounts of fruit in your diet, start eating large amounts of fresh, vegetables in your diet, especially green leafy vegetables, and also move away from foods that might be problematic and might be triggering you. So for example, certainly gluten, certainly soy, certainly uh, foods like corn, it could also be that you're reacting to legumes, so beans and lentils and so forth. It could also be 
to do with proteins found in grains that are aggravating your autoimmune condition. It is totally possible. I had to exclude grains and legumes for a period of time. I had to follow a very specific diet in order to be able to restore Hashimoto's. But at the same time, I've also worked with clients that did not have to remove grains, that did not have to remove legumes, and they managed to send their Hashimoto's into remission. So everyone is different and everybody is different. And you will need to understand what works best for you better still work with a nutritionist to help you work it out and implement the right plan so you know how to restore your body in a holistic way but at the same time the right way as well so you're following the right plan so that is important to understand so that was the first step the second step is to do with understanding your deficiencies and understanding how to replenish them the right way so for example if you've got Hashimoto's then you're probably low in iron and you might need to rebuild your iron reserves by first eating more iron-rich foods, which you can get from plants as well, and also supplementing with the right form of non-constipating iron. So you're not constipated, yes? Yeah? So you are rebuilding that iron reserve and then assessing your vitamin D levels, assessing your B12 levels, making sure that you include zinc into your diet, making sure that you're not taking the wrong supplements, right? Like taking iodine, for example, if you've got Hashimoto's, if you've got Hashimoto's, then iodine is likely to make things much worse. And it's probably the nutrients that you will need to avoid because it will trigger your condition and it will make it worse. So it's very important to understand the right types of supplements you can take and the right way to balance your deficiencies and avoid the, the sort of, uh, old wives tales kinds of supplements that are wrong that are not gonna uh, rebuild your health and are not gonna be necessary for your body okay the third and very important step and that is the one that is going to be causing Hashimoto's and autoimmune in a lot of people and that is the one that I had to rebalance myself because when I discovered that I had Hashimoto's I was already on the whole foods plant foods lifestyle plan I was already not including grains and legumes into my diet but I still had Hashimoto's and my antibody was my, my antibodies were still high and it wasn't until I understood that I needed to rebuild my gut health and started working on that that I managed to send Hashimoto's into remission so when we are talking about gut health there could be certain triggers that again are causing that inflammation in the body so the body is reacting to things so for example if you've got candida that can be feeding your autoimmune disease if you've got gut dysbiosis if you've got certain parasites like blastocystis hominis i know it's a complicated name but that's another type of parasite that could be contributing to you experiencing hashimoto's so if you've got uh, lifelong problems with your gut so many of our clients for example come to us and they're constipated or on the other hand they go to the bathroom too much so it's more like IBS kind of symptoms that they're experiencing it's so important to work on rebuilding your gut and you rebuilding your gut will come down a lot to the diet that you're eating so making sure that you give your gut the right uh, bacteria and also it will come down to making sure that you remove it the root causes of your gut problems. So whether it's candida or H. pylori or dealing with parasites or dealing with different uh, gut dysbiosis that you can be experiencing and dealing with certain viruses in your body, that is a very important part of your Hashimoto's restoration plan. So these three things alone can help you send Hashimoto's into remission. And of course, there are other strategies. So what we've done, we've put together a special free online masterclass that will explain the five steps our clients are using to reverse their thyroid and autoimmune conditions, rebuild the health of their hormones, and also lose up to 20 pounds in 60 days without any dieting we don't do calorie restriction we don't do carbohydrate restriction as part of our plan so the link for that is in the description section go and grab yourself in spot and i'm sure that you're going to benefit from it just like thousands of other people who have watched it have thank you so much for joining me for this video and i'm going to link it to another video where i will share with you weight loss strategies that can help you shift that excess body fat that you are currently carrying. See you there.